Hello. It's been an important and grim development in the situation and the condition of our police officer, our great police officer, heroic police officer, Mark DiNardo. And uh, the Chief's going to give you a little bit of those details. Chief Tom Comey. Chief? And I, I'm going to read a brief statement. I'm not going to answer any of your questions. I apologize for that. I'd personally like to thank the numerous individuals, both in the public and private sector, for their support in these trying times. It is now a stark reality that the miracle we were so badly seeking will not come to pass. Detective Mark Donato's condition has deteriorated and his demise is imminent. We ask the public to continue to keep him and his family in their prayers, along with the other officers involved, as we are ready to say goodbye to a fallen hero. We urge the media to abide by the wishes of the family in the waning hours of Detective Donato's life, to give them the peace and privacy that they deserve as they say goodbye to a father, a son, and a husband. We will make no further statements or announcements. We will post the proper notification and alert upon Detective Donato's demise. I thank you. I'd like to now introduce Melissa Bartholomew. She's one of she's also a member of the Jersey City Police Department. She's a very good friend of the families, and the family has also prepared a statement that they would like you to hear. like to thank the members of the Jersey City Police Department and the people of Jersey City for their prayers and overwhelming support in this difficult time. Mark loved the Jersey City Police Department and the city of Jersey City. He was a proud father. He follows in his father's footsteps into public service. He took joy in helping help, help those in need, taking care, of injured, taking care of the injured and saving lives. Mark was not a selfish man. He was a moral man, a man who gave himself to those who could not care for themselves. Mark gave his life so others could live by donating, donating his organs. He is a true hero. Detective Mark Donato leaves behind a loving wife, Mary, three beautiful children, Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn age four, Mark Anthony, second, age three, and Ella, age one. His loving mother, Mary, and father, retired police lieutenant of the Jersey City Police Department, Mark Paul Donato and his extended family and friends. Mark would have celebrated his 38th birthday this Wednesday, July 22nd. The family requests their privacy and respects that the graphic, graphic descriptions of Detective Donato's injuries be discontinued for the sake of the children. The family requests that in lieu of flowers, that donations be made to the scholarship fund established by the Jersey City Police Officers Benevolent Association. All contributions should be made to the JCPOBA Mark Anthony Donato Memorial Fund, PO Box 1739, Jersey City, New Jersey 07307. In addition to the POBA, the New Jersey Blood Services, Services will sponsor a blood drive in honor of Detective Mark Anthony Donato and the other officers that were shot in the line of duty. The blood donations will be utilized to replenish the supply of blood used by the Jersey City Medical Center during this tragic event. The blood services trailer will arrive at the firehouse OEM headquarters at, at 715 Summit Avenue on Wednesday, July 22nd, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Anyone wishing to make an appointment can do so by calling 1-800-933-2566. An additional blood drive was established and set up for August 7th at, city, at Jersey City City Hall, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., Friday, August 7th, sponsored by the Hudson County Coalition, along with the Red Cross and Jersey City. On a personal note, as a longtime friend of Mark and Mary, he will be greatly missed. He had the personality you can never forget, and when he walked into a room, he knew it. We all loved him. 